All right, I just want to make a quick video on something you can do to get your maths teacher angry. Don't do this. Take a look at these two questions here. We have the left hand side and we have the right hand side. They both solve the same thing. They both arrive at the same answer. But what is different from the left hand side to the right hand side? Other than my terrible handwriting, what is different? The left hand side is in a mess. And this is what will get your teacher mad. When you're making your statement in mathematics, this is a pro tip. Pro tip. When you're making a statement in mathematics, always keep the always keep the equal sign. Keeps the equal sign. Always keep the equal sign under each other vertically. Line it. Line it up. Go to the next line. Use up your paper. Use your page. We'll, we'll, you'll buy more pages. Use your page. Keep your equal signs under each other. And try to keep one equal sign per line. This section here, watch these equal signs, eh boy? Equal sign, equal sign, equal sign. Now messing up your flow. Now messing up the vibes of the question. That's one problem. The next problem is you can't just throw equal signs all over the place. Equal signs mean what is in front of the equal sign is equal to what is behind the equal sign. Is 5 equal to 5 minus 2? Is 5 equal to 3? No. So you, And this is a common mistake. And this is how your teacher will know, well, this person ain't so hot up in the maths yet. So don't just throw equal signs all over the place. Keep your equal signs under each other. Make your statement look pretty. That is the end of that. Protein.